and the African audiences, they just like, they really took to me first and they liked my face and they really appreciated my style before anybody did. My wife wasn't, she was doing influence and so I wanted to make sure I got some high quality images for her so she could keep up. He was driving trucks full time and I was working at the DMV. People for years would always ask me about my photographer. I'm just like, y'all, it's just my husband. He's just taking my pictures. I never really recognized about the major features that I had because there was nothing to me at the time. I was a truck driver. After working with small brands and major brands and seeing the ins and outs, I said, okay, you know, I'll start it. And Caribbean Cowgirl started with $200. People fall in love with the story behind the brand and the transparency. Caribbean cowgirl is just kind of a mixture of the, both of those parts about me. Caribbean, my dad is Jamaican, and then cowgirl because I really do live in the country. While I look like I'm a very city girl, I'm not. I really am barefoot in my yard, and it's reflected in my fashion. <laughs> it's the she shed. This is where everything goes down. This is the warehouse for Shop Caribbean Cowgirl and also a content creation space and just a space that I can breathe and get my creative thoughts together. So these are some vintage luxe pieces and we're giving you preppy, yet we're giving you the culture. Vintage is fun and vintage is unique, but also vintage already has a story that's told. So whenever I revamp the piece, it's a new story and it's a new adventure ready to be had. It's not a Mildred dress anymore, it's a Beyonce dress. It's hard to look at my stuff and see it in someone else's boutique because it's not gonna look the same at all. I'm a very passionate person and I love perspective and I love to be able to capture these scenes and I wanna be able to tell stories of fun black girls living their best life and we need a lot more stories like that. And that's what I wanna bring. <laughs>